Okay, don't forget idea requirements when conducting virtual IEP team meetings. <clears throat> IEP team meetings in the Crane, Texas Independent School District have engaged in virtual IEP team meetings using the Zoom app since March 19th. Sounds about right. Quote, it's almost more deliberate and more focused being online, said Shelly Garcia, the district special education director. So the top cheese, right? <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of times in person, there's sidebar talking. It's not disorganized, but it has a tendency to go on longer than it has to. The Zoom meeting is more deliberate. Everybody takes their turns. So yeah, I mean, you don't really see people doing that. They can't really, you know, I can't really go into your square over here and tell you something, you know? Right, right. <clears throat> um, just remember, you must ensure meaningful parental participation regardless of the way you conduct an IEP meeting. Call the parents before the remote meeting to lay the groundwork and step up the level of trust a notch, Garcia says. Also take these steps. One, send prior written notice. It doesn't matter how you're conducting the meeting, you still have to send prior written notice in a reasonable time before the meeting. Scan the notice, which is just the meeting notice, and email it to the parent in addition to sending it to them via traditional mail. I don't know if anybody's doing mail these days. Also email and mail the draft IEP and other documentation. We still send them all the paper documents in the mail, but we're scanning and emailing the documents as well. Um, just make sure you're meeting your confidentiality obligations under FERPA when you send the documents, this special ed director said. Address language needs. Well, this is this is for people that need interpreters. They're saying make sure you know that the need for interpretation is addressed. Show the working IEP document as you go. Allow the parents to see each part of the document on the screen as you discuss the IEP. If parents can only call into the online meeting rather than use video and audio, record the meeting and share it with the parent afterwards. Remind parents that you're recording at the start of the meeting. Afford parents a constant voice. Make sure parents are not muted at any point during the meeting. Uh, check in regularly to ensure they have not been dropped from the meeting or are having technical difficulties. Constantly ask them if they have questions or concerns. We want to give their input, them to give their input as freely as anyone else in the online meeting. They should be just as integrated into the online meeting as they would be into our traditional meetings in person. Review the meeting minutes. Go over the minutes of the virtual meeting with everyone at the end and ensure everyone is in agreement and the administrator reads the assurance as she would in a traditional IEP meeting. Well, I don't ask for that because I always go over it afterwards and I'm usually going to have a different characterization of things and corrections to that part of the meeting. Then when possible, this is new, have parents submit remote signatures for attendance. If not possible, seek their verbal agreement and write down that they participated by phone. Uh, then email and mail everything to the parents. There has to be a level of trust that the school is inputting what the parents say she said. So that's that one. And like the next thing they're talking about, which we'll get to whenever you're ready, is plan now how to protect medically vulnerable students when schools reopen. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a very interesting world we live in. And I just want to say to people, I, I've loved this week when um, a couple of people have posted things saying, let's just all remember that really nothing has changed, that we don't yet have a vaccine, we don't yet have a treatment, mm -hmm. we don't yet have a whole lot of things. And we're still taking data on all of these things. And it's a long time between now and when school starts. And, and so schools are, are doing, I think, the absolute right thing where they are getting ready to potentially reopen if that's a possibility. But I hope and pray, Bonnie, that they're also looking at how they would beef, beef up their distance learning. Because no matter no matter if, if something ginormous changes, there's still going to be at-risk kids that are going to need that distance learning. And often they're the kids that, that would be the most at risk in distance learning to have a hard time coping. Well, so, this would be what we address whenever we, I'm assuming we're out of time. So this is what yeah. we'll do when we reconvene. I do think that there's a real issue about medically fragile students. We also know there's, a, there's this new syndrome, multi, multiple inflammatory system syndrome, 
for, for some kids. And there's also a concern now that kids are going to get adults sick, you yeah. know? So, I mean, there are multiple issues to be worked out in the next. Uh, yep, there's two. a lot to get through. So. But we thank you so much and we'll take that up uh, next week. But um, tell us again about Tolner Law Offices and where we can find you and them. Uh, T-O-L-L-N-E-R Law Offices, Google us, we're on the web. We'd love to talk further with you if you're in the state of California. Wonderful. Bonnie, thank you so much. And we hope that you get to go to any of those of your favorite places sometime oh. soon and, and, and healthily. And, you know and what? Carefully. Somebody put, uh, there was a New York Times article, very nice article about beautiful books with a sense of place. And mm -hmm. um, I ordered those books to read as oh. much as reading. Yeah. There yeah. you go. That's great summer reading. What yeah. a wonderful thing. Yes. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate Have you. Bye bye. Day. Have a great week. Bye. You too. Bye bye. Thanks for watching Autism Live. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.